Good morning and happy Sunday, YouTube land out there. Welcome to my inspirational content once again. We're about to read Judges, the 17th chapter, and today is our 218th day for this awesome Bible challenge. Please grab your Bibles, read along with me. Uh, I am going to have tea eventually, but I don't have it in front of me. Please let me know in the comments <coughs> what you all are having this morning, and let's get started. And there was a man of Mount Ephraim, whose name was Micah. And he said unto his mother, The eleven hundred shekels of silver that were taken from thee, about which thy curses and spakest of also in my ears, behold, the silver is with me. I took it. And his mother said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my son. And when he had restored the eleven hundred shekels of silver to his mother, his mother said, I had wholly dedicated the silver unto the Lord from my hand for my son to make a graven image and a molten image. Now, therefore, I will restore it unto thee. Yet he restored the money unto his mother, and his mother took two hundred shekels of silver and gave them to the founder, who made thereof a graven image and a molten image. And they were in the house of Micah. And the man Micah had in house of gods and made an ephod and teraphim and consecrated one of his sons who became his priest. In those days, there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And there was a young man out of Bethel, Bethel Judah, Bethlehem, Judah, of the family of Judah, who was a Levite, and he sojourned them. And the man departed out of the city from Bethlehem, Judah, to sojourn where he could <coughs> find a place. Excuse me. And he came to Mount Ephraim to the house of Micah as he journeyed. And Micah said unto him, Whence comest thou? And he said unto him, I am a Levite of Bethlehem, Judah. And I go to sojourn where I may find a place. And Michael said unto him, Dwell with me and be unto me a father and a priest. And I will give thee ten shekels of silver by the year and a suit of apparel and thy victuals. So the Levite went in. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Uh, that, that chapter, y'all, is a difficult chapter, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead with our Google summary without further ado. Okay. Uh, the love of money made Micah so undutiful to his mother as to rob her and made her so unkind to her son as to curse him. Outward losses drive good people to their prayers, but bad people to their curses. This woman's silver was her God. And that God is spelled small g-o-d. Before it was made into a graven or a molten image, Micah and his mother agreed to turn their money into a God, which is again small g-o-d, and get up idol worship in their file and set up idol worship in their family. See the cause of this corruption. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes, and then they soon did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Michael thought it was a sign of God's favor to him and his images that a Levite should come to his door. Thus, those who please themselves with their own delusions, if providence unexpectedly bring anything to their hands, that furthered them in their in their evil way are apt from this to think that God is pleased with them. Amen. So that's our Google summary for that lesson today. And uh, like I said, that, that was a difficult chapter. Um, if you want to get more insight on that chapter, I would suggest definitely dig a little deeper with other resources. Uh, that is one chapter that I would not be able to elaborate more on. Um, but <clears throat> you all have a happy Sunday. 
And we are moving on through this book of Judges with this Bible challenge. Uh, finish reading the remaining of that chapter. Um, you have some other chapters that you need to catch up on. Uh, I would suggest start working on it because we are almost done, y'all. That was Judges 17. And uh, so we only have up to Judges 21 in this book. So catch up, catch up, catch up. I love y'all. Enjoy your day. Stay warm out there. Stay safe. Bye-bye.